welcome back to my channel so uh, let's jump into today's download okay there's a lot what i wrote down is you 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 your your <laughs> you guys are their favorite topic to discuss yes you okay you are their favorite topic to discuss you guys figure out who the they is i'm sure you already know but what i got is you guys are stepping into an era of having a lot of freedom and you guys are getting the fire back you get your your swag your mojo you're just getting your spark back you're getting the light back in your eyes and so you guys are very energetic right now you are vigilant you are using your head um, you guys are not overthinking and you're just very talkative and energetic and you guys are feeling really excited about traveling, making different decisions with this new freedom that you have. You're planning for the future and you're ready for this adventure, this new beginning. But you guys have these people, these Decepticons, these chooches, these chuchalinis in the back that they... They're obviously heated, bothered, hot under the collar. Um, they can literally kiss your grits, but here we are. If they minded their biscuits, everything would be gravy. Obviously, they're missing some cheese on their cracker. Not all their dogs are barking, but we're not here to judge. Okay, just here to give you the message. And the message is, you're a cosmic warrior. I don't know why they're talking, but you are their favorite topic of discussion. You were their favorite topic. So these people have, they still haven't learned. They refuse to cooperate with you. They refuse to like get on the same page. They, they refuse to get on a better page, a better foot, a good foot, any foot, okay? They're just in constant disharmony and they're very negative. They give you false positivity when other people are watching but it's like when you guys are alone, they're like one way. This could be a narcissistic parent or sibling. You guys let me know in the comments who this is. I'm dying to know. But this person is, they've made a lot of mistakes with you. Know that. And they bring a lot of negativity into your life. They bring a lot of sadness into your life. And so you just, you're just, you're just not about it. They are acting like they're always making sacrifices for you you're like on what planet and they are being put in some type of time out to gain a better perspective of how they should treat you and they're still not learning okay they are still not learning they refuse to learn they love making the mistakes when it's according to you so i want to see what else is going on with you I have the Ace of Wands, the Page of Swords, Freedom, and the Two of Wands for you. For them, I have the Hanged Man, the Chameleon, the Three of Pentacles in Reverse, and the Sun in Reverse. These people are trying to figure out how to conceal their ambition of going for your jugular, but you guys know what time it is, so you guys don't really let them around. It's like you guys are cutting them off if you haven't already. And so it's like you guys are coming to this realization that even though you've been since removed from them, they are still discussing you like you're around, like you're there, like you matter. I don't know why you guys need to know this, but I guess you guys need to know this in case you were thinking about reconciling with them. Um, they're not, I'm getting that they were put in a timeout to pause, to release whatever they needed to release to get over it, I guess. And they chose not to build that bridge. They burnt it down repeatedly. God gave them the bridge to mend things with you. They burnt it down. God gave them the olive branch to mend things with you. And then they torched that too. So I guess you guys need to know that this is what's going on behind the scenes in case you were thinking about reconciling with somebody that just, you really care about or they're a family member or a sibling and they just won't they just won't they won't stop it's like their favorite pastime and on top of that they're doing this in a group 
this is like siblings and parents this is like an old friend group this these are like people it's a group a group of people where you are their favorite discussion it's like they like to obsess fantasize or dream about what is going on in your life they like to say that you guys are working too hard you guys overexert yourself um, they're trying to act like oh i bet they're still doing that i bet they're still overworking themselves poor thing getting is they are gossiping about the fact that you guys work really hard and they're trying to make it seem like oh yeah they said that they're self-employed oh yeah they said that they 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 don't have to do this that or the third but we know better they create their own narrative no matter what no matter what you guys are getting this new beginning you are energetic if you're just using your energy differently you're planning you're getting your creative spark back you're going through this huge reset and it's like these people are intoxicated by you they're they have a distorted view they overindulge in gossiping and they overindulge in other things um, it could be substances, it could just be spell work or yeah, what goes around comes around. They're definitely indulging in spell work, gossiping, evil eye, the things that they're trying to send your way. And God is saying um, what goes around comes around. They can pretend like they're con they can conceal their ambition to take you out with you guys past returns for a time. They're trying to act like, oh, that's in the past. We forgot about them. Who are they? They know exactly who you are. Because justice is coming around and rearing its head because they have not energetically let go of you. If anything, now they want you guys more, uh, like, watch you guys more intensely. They, these people are trying to act like they don't miss you. Or they're acting like, oh, they miss us. They miss us. I don't feel like you guys miss them, but let me know in the comments. Comment down below. I am a cosmic warrior. If they don't know, now they know. What goes around comes around. And every way, every day, everything is getting better and better. I am releasing anger daily. I am releasing insecurities daily. I am limitless. Joy is my birth right i don't think about them at all okay you guys are realizing it's your time to shine and you feel like you're being watched well these are some of the people that are watching you though they might not even be talking to you so if you were thinking about reconciling they're acting like to everyone else they miss us so much but we don't give them the time of day yeah I feel like also these people, they don't give you credit for how smart you are. Okay, they don't give you guys credit for um, how smart you are and the things that you've been through. And I don't like that. Um, these are people that don't acknowledge hurt that you've endured. They just, they either sweep it under the rug or they just don't talk, they don't address it at all. So this ancient wisdom, it just wasn't gifted at your doorstep, okay? It's not something you ordered on Amazon. This is something that came with a lot of hard lessons and something that bothers you about said people that are discussing you is that they never acknowledge anything going on in your life that is important to you um, or things that you've endured. You guys are learning how to be your true self. If at any time you cared a great deal about what they thought of you, I can see now you give no you-know-whats. You don't care at all anymore if, if they think you're grumpy or if they think you're upset or if they think you're not happy or that you're overworking yourself like you don't care anymore. You're getting this new beginning and this new beginning doesn't have anything to do with them, no matter what they're saying. You guys are going through powerful personal growth. Um, I also feel like they're saying different things like, oh, they're so bougie. 
oh, they think they're a princess. Oh, they think they're an empress. Oh, they think they're so smart or so wise or they think they're chosen. Whatever it is, they're definitely um, key keying it up at their busted, dusted karmic tea party. I got an itch, so to me that's confirmation. Um, they're like trying to get under your skin. They want you to hear things through the grapevine. They want to get under your skin like we don't care or we said bad things about you. Whatever is going to hurt you most. I'm just getting a lot of jealousy. So this is what you guys have been doing. You've been cleaning it up. You've been cleaning it up and keeping it cute. I'm getting earth angel status. You guys are an earth angel. You're a phoenix rising from the ashes. You've just... You're really starting to see what is important to you and who is important to you. And it ain't these people. It ain't them. Sorry, not sorry. So let's see what else they're discussing about you. It's almost like they act like they could solve problems in your life faster than you. But they're not acquainted with you like that anymore. They're not acquainted with the details of you anymore. You guys are a winged seer. You guys can guess. With very little information, what's with you guys could guess what's going on with them. With very little information is what I meant to say. And you guys see clearly, you guys could be clairvoyant, you guys could be clairaudient. Let me know in the comments. But they're just acting like. Oh, they think they're better than us. Oh, that's tacky. Oh, that's gaudy. Oh, they think they can do this. Like, what do they do that at type of mentality? And you guys have had to do a lot of healing to learn not to care. You guys have had to do a lot of healing to not care. You guys, let me know if you are... Um, I'm getting Islander, but you don't have to be. And... It's like you get a lot of attention because you're very exotic. Um, but people think that you're so exotic. So, okay, let me try to think how to say this. You guys have family members, right? Say you guys have a family. You guys all have the same parent. Or some of you do and some of you don't. Everyone looks one way and then you look completely different on your own. And there's a lot of jealousy towards the fact that you look this way, but when you were younger, it was hard for you because you looked different. And now that looking different is like, it's like feeling like the ugly duckling, your glow up is here. And so now you guys looking exotic is really working for you. And they're hating, they were hating then. And they're hating now, they're hating when it was hard for you. And now they're hating now. Okay, so, yeah. Let me know if that's you, because I feel like that's going to be a couple of you guys. You're just exotic in your own way. Okay, there's um, part of you that it's just you're exotic. You look exotic to others. And so it might have been really hard for you guys growing up. And now this is something that they really feel some type of way about because it's you're beautiful you're attractive they're hating you guys are the baddest one walking even on your worst day you guys have miracles unfolding in your life you have a lot of things hatching you guys could be a life path number eight um you guys could be 40 31 42 41, 29, did I say 21? But you don't have to be, obviously. So we have the storm angel. Normally, or back in the day, I shouldn't say normally, back in the day, maybe you had a lot of anger towards them or they were able to get you riled up easily and now they can't. It's like, <clears throat> leave a message at the beat, better men have tried. I radiate sunshine, the end. And so it's no longer a collision of beliefs, attitudes, energies. You guys have continuously weathered different storms. You guys couldn't care less about what they're doing. Um, they try to glamorize their drama and the things that they're concealing. And they don't understand like you're a winged seer. Oh, sorry. 
you guys are <laughs> you guys are a winged seer and you guys already see it clearly like it can't get any more clear whatever they're doing or trying to conceal it doesn't work like ever like ever you guys are learning how to count your blessings you guys could also be 35 or 24 i don't know if i said that already so yeah 35 and 24 these are definitely um wolves and sheep's clothing and they're just they think that they're able to conceal that they're the wolf and it's like i've been known that okay you're like i've been known that you're gonna listen to your inner your inner wisdom because something's already telling you guys that oh i don't think they've changed or i feel like this person's telling me one thing and they're doing another and they're a family member and i really want to care and i really want to love them but you guys are starting to see that um something's off so now that you are actually um praying and asking god like hey should i reconcile with them um I'm getting the no that you're backing up so they can be put in their place. I'm getting that you guys have been praying a lot because they've been trying to cause weather disasters in your life. You guys, you guys could have been zero contact with them for a while and they're trying to figure out how to cause more issues in your life and they're like not even around. They're trying to figure out a return in your life because they passionately think negatively about you. Some of you guys can be in love. And so they're wanting to wreak havoc on that. Um, some of the warfare that they've been sending you guys is things towards your relationship. Things towards your home. Um, things towards your job. Like they want you to lose your job. They could be gossiping that you're losing your job, gossiping that you're fighting with your partner, even though these things are not true. Um, they might be trying to act like your best friend. But I'm also just seeing this as like their karmic tea party. This is like all of them on the bed, hanging out, talking shit, thinking that it's like the best thing ever. Like you are their favorite topic to discuss. And I feel like there's not, there's more than one group. I don't even feel like it's just one group. I feel like it's two or three groups. I feel like you guys have a group in your workplace that does this. I feel like you guys have a group in your family that does this. I feel like you guys have a group in your neighborhood that does this and a group on social media that does this. So what does that tell you? That you're awesome. That you're awesome. People are like, oh, we've been friends. You're like, I don't want friendships if it's that easy. <laughs> okay. Nope. They really want you to live in the past. Okay. I'm getting that they really, there's something about the past and spell work. Okay. So... Um, that's why they're being sorted out. These people are being sorted out because they want you to live in the past. That's not happening. You are the seer. You see everything. And God is allowing you to stunt on them. God is allowing you to shine and not acknowledge them. Because on your own, you have extended olive branch after olive branch after olive branch. And they torched, bent, and snapped that shit. So, toodles. Okay, toodles, they wanted to go another round with you. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. Especially if you guys are an islander of some kind, they could be paying somebody for spell work. Okay, if they can't eat, if they won't even, they don't want to get their hands dirty. Somebody here wants to conceal that they're sending this to you. They don't want to get their hands dirty. They don't want you to know where the spell work is coming from. Okay, you guys, so just be careful. Because um, they're doing a lot of venting about you. So there's a ringleader in each group. And each group has a head chooch, a, a head choochalini, a head decepticon, a head whole demon in the house. 
and all they do is talk about you and cry about you and whine about you. It's like word vomit. Their drama, the stuff that they say about you, is like word vomit. They just wait for somebody to bring you up so they can talk about you. Obsessed. They have tried to cause a lot of third party interference. Um, maybe in the past some of it worked, but I'm getting that it doesn't work now. Because you guys be figuring it out. You guys are 10 steps ahead. 10 steps ahead. I want to get some astrological signs for you guys. Yeah, I'm getting that they need help. They need help, but they're acting like, oh, you know, Susie, we invited her to tea. And, oh, it's just this poor broken soul. Like, that's how they act, you guys. Like, I cannot. They're, they're like, oh, I tried to help them and nothing's going to help them. They're just lost. They're gone. And they also, like, they try to treat you one way in front of people and that you guys know what time it is when people aren't around. You guys know what time it is, so. I don't know what they're pretending or why they're acting. Let's get some astrology. Let's get some zodiac signs. You guys could be a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon. You guys could be... <laughs> Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You guys could be a Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You guys, oh, did I just get that? Pisces, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, you guys could be a Pisces, Sagittarius. Sagittarius went over that way. Um, Aries, I do have these ones. Not trying to throw gang signs, but these are those. And let's see what else is going on. You guys have been going through some heavy Saturn lessons. And what I'm seeing is you guys are getting back to how you feel deep within you, how you maneuver in your purpose. And you're going to be doing that based off of your intuition and how you feel. And yeah, they're trying to come in. They're trying to come in like a wrecking ball. They think that they can. They're trying to come in like a wrecking ball and bring destruction and all their aggressiveness because they are jealous. Okay, what I'm getting is they are really jealous of your romantic attachments and they are really jealous of how you have re like regenerated yourself, how you've resurrected yourself. Like, but for real, for real. They are so upset how you've gotten through Saturn lessons and you're still alive. They are so mad, you guys. They cannot even believe. They're so mad. Like, and then we got Mars. They don't know what time it is, but they're just, I'm getting that they're very, they're jealous of the way that your reputation is different. They never thought that you would like muster up the strength or have all of this resilience. So comment down below. I am a cosmic warrior. I've been that. I am that every day of the week. But yeah, I'm getting that they are very jealous of your romantic attachments. They are very jealous of the, the sex appeal that you have, um, the fame and the fortune and the freedom that you are obtaining. Like, and you guys ooze some type of sex appeal. You guys have very like exotic eyes. I'm telling you guys, you guys are exotic in some way, form, or fashion. And these people are real upset about it, okay? You don't be, you're not regular, you're not schmegular. Okay, we got justice trying to pop out. Whatever they are trying to conceal, they can't conceal it from God. They can't hide their spell work from God. What? What? No. No. Comment down below. I heard you were a wild one. You guys are a wild one. Whoa. We got the bison. You guys are learning lessons from your past, present, and future. You guys, if, if they are sending spell work, they're trying to do something to your food. So pray over your food. Slow down to pray over things. Pray over your money. Pray over your food. Um, 
You don't know if it was like on somebody's altar, whatever things that you guys are obtaining, pray over those things or trying to send warfare that way. And we're not empowering them. We're just protecting ourselves. You feel me? We have justice and you're on the right path. Your career brings fairness and protection to help others who need your help. And this is why God goes hard for you. You guys help others that need your help, that feel lost, that it could have been going through the same type of situations. And you are on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. It's working. So yeah, you guys are recognizing your past, recognizing your present and your future. And I feel like your past, present, and future is the moon, Mars, and Saturn. You guys got all this stuff unfolding in your seventh and eighth house. They're so jealous. They're so jealous. Okay, let's get you guys an angel number. But yeah, I do feel like they're trying to attack your job and your looks and your nutrition like the way that you work out your determination your resilience your food so even if you didn't make the food pray over the food you feel me um even if you're or if you are making the food pray over the food if it's for somebody else that you love about love them they don't pray over the food you pray over the food okay be like oh but where you eat that let me pray over that for you um, if you guys are getting cash or money, pray over that. Okay. If you guys have been with me for a while, you guys already know, you guys already know. Um, or if you guys have been on my Patreon, then you guys already know. Let's get your angel number. Oh, this one's doing the most. We got one, three, five, one, three, five. So this is your guys' angel number. I feel like there is something important in July. You guys could be a life path one, three, or five, but I feel like something is unfolding in July or that could be when your birthday is. And there could be something important happening in May. Or something is going to be, okay. I'm hearing that something is going to be revealed to you in May. And some type of miracle is going to be unfolding for you in July or good news, okay? You're going to be getting good news in July and in May, something important is being revealed to you. Like another layer of betrayal is going to be revealed to you to give you like confirmation. Yeah. I feel like for one to three, one to three months, you've been trying to, to decide if you're going to reconcile with any of these people or they've been having events or functions and you've been missing out or not participating in them. And so for like a couple of months, you've been thinking about, well, maybe would I ever, I don't know if you've been zero contact with them. Okay. And yeah. So let me know. Don't forget to drop your favorite affirmation. Mine is it's my time to shine. But yeah, these people, you are their favorite topic to discuss because you're not the same old person that was like wounded and hurt and explaining it to them. And um, yeah, let me know what's going on in the comments. If you guys are looking for anything extended, pick a card style. Link is in the description box. Don't forget to smash the, you know what, hit the bell. <laughs> Duh. And I will see you guys in the next one.